Dr. MacArthur, what would you add about friendship? Well, let me talk about John. <clears throat> uh, I was asked, why would you have John Piper at the conference? And my, my immediate answer was because, one, I love him. Two, he is as formidable um, a lover of Christ as there exists in the world today. Um, three, because he feeds me. I, I don't get a lot of time with John, but I did get a thousand pages plus of providence <laughs> delivered to me, delivered to me through your mind and your heart and your faces on every page because I know you and I, I, I'm reading, but I'm hearing you and I know you well enough to know what went on for you to be able to produce such a massive, massive work. I don't know that there's um, more than a handful of people who have had that kind of biblical effect on me of, of modern people. I mean, you probably read more old authors than you do current authors like I do. But for a current author, you, you've delivered your soul to me in so many ways. I remember we were at the Sing conference one year. You might not remember this. And you were speaking at the early session. It was 7.45 or 8 in the morning. I was in the green room when you showed up and you said, what are you doing here? You remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm eager to hear. And I said, what do you mean what am I doing here? You're speaking. You said, you came to hear me speak? I said, of course. I mean, you're processing, you flew from California last night, you got in late at 7 in the morning, which is 4 or 5 in the morning. I, I wait for the Lord to use you to, to, to bring me what I need for my heart and soul. So anytime I can do that, I'm going to be there. Well, you're kind. You know, um, C.S. Lewis uh, made the distinctions about the four kinds of loves and uh, eros, uh, love, lovers are, are looking at each other in the face and they're telling each other how delicious they are. And, and no, it's and, not that kind of love, John. <laughs> don't, don't, don't interrupt, I'm getting there. <laughs> and, and, and philos is, is friendship and you're not facing each other. You're facing a, a passionate goal, right? Shoulder to shoulder. And you, you're not doing a lot of intimate talk. I started with the intimacy piece of, of those guys know me through and through, but what makes it friendship is the shoulder to shoulder pulling in a worthy, great cause you're willing to die for. And when you smell in another person that you're pulling in the same reins, in the same yoke, then you feel like we could die together. This would be good. This would be good. <laughs> so that, that's, the, that's the kind of friendship you, you want. You